So, you've just finished your user interview. Now it's time to turn this unprocessed data you've collected into actionable research findings. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. Today we will talk about analyzing user interview notes. We'll discuss how to turn them into insights for teams to use to improve user experience. At the end of the video, we'll also give you a great tip for analyzing qualitative data through quantitative calculations. So don't miss out. During the interview, you've most likely been writing down notes related to the user's behavior and actions, their quotes, and so on. If you haven't or wish to dedicate more time to note taking, watch interview recordings and write down any information important to the research goal. Then start organizing the notes according to when you made them. Ideally, the tool you use for UX interviews and note taking should do that automatically. For example, in UX Tweak, any notes moderators and observers make during the interview are timestamped automatically. After the interview, you can edit the timestamps and use them to navigate interview recordings. If your tool doesn't have such functionalities, organize the notes based on which part of the interview they refer to. You can use headings or tags such as participant background, general experience, uh, participants experience with a feature, and so on. Once you've finished organizing your notes, it's time to search for patterns within them. Look for recurring themes or keywords. Then use affinity diagrams to group feedback visually. Additionally, you can use thematic analysis to categorize insights into broader themes. You can also use notes to highlight where the main pain points occur on the user journey map. Another important analysis to conduct is sentiment analysis. It examines the emotional tone of the user's feedback in UX interviews. For example, if many users describe a feature as frustrating or confusing, it highlights negative sentiment. By identifying these emotional responses, you can develop a more nuanced understanding of user attitudes towards different aspects of the product. If during an interview, a participant is also completing tasks, don't forget to analyze metrics related to the chosen research method. For example, if you are conducting moderated usability testing, don't forget to analyze how many participants finished each task successfully and how much time they spent on it. The next step is to summarize the findings and provide recommendations. While summarizing the findings, use bullet points with key insights and visualize when possible. Use direct user quotes to highlight the importance of the discovered issues and users' feelings towards it. When providing recommendations, link each suggestion to specific insights from your analysis. Ensure recommendations are actionable and prioritize them based on the potential impact and ease of implementation. Both the summary and recommendations should be then mentioned in a UX research report, a document shared with stakeholders to communicate research findings. If you are curious about how to create engaging UX research reports, make sure to watch our video guide. The link is in the description. If you ask participants to complete tasks during interviews, try to quantify some of the insights. For example, if participants often say a new app feature is hard to find or not intuitive, you can count how commonly these keywords keep coming up. Let's say 18 out of 20 participants say the feature is hard to find and 10 say it's not intuitive. You can now compare the numbers. You'll see that making the feature easier to find should be a priority. Turning qualitative insights into quantitative ones also helps visualize data. In your UX research report, don't simply state participants found the feature non-intuitive. Prepare a note map with keywords participants used to communicate the issue. Or include a pie chart highlighting the percentage of users who had trouble with the feature. It will better prompt stakeholders to take action in the insights. There we go. Don't forget to check out our video about affinity diagrams and user journey mapping for more efficient notes analysis. And don't miss out on our video guide for creating UX research reports. The link is in the description. Like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you next time.